Katie here from Greenview Puppies, and today the puppies are seven weeks old. Dr. Cap, our vet, came over two days ago and gave the puppies a look over to see how they're doing. They all checked out beautifully. Um, they have their health certificates ready for their families, and I'm just tickled with the report. They're all just healthy and doing so well. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a few clips on what that looks like. We did their microchip deworming, five-way vaccines, and then the exam with the vet. So here's some clips of that. Finally getting the bath. If the vet's coming, then we got to be sneaky clean. are on solid food so this also just helps us to make sure that they are not having any problems with eating and gaining weight. We're also giving them their wormer here which we do several times before they head home. Um, this just makes sure that they leave us healthy and happy um, so their new owners don't end up with any unwanted um, issues to deal with. And then we give our five-way vaccine as well. We choose to do five-way for our pups because um, we don't want to use Lepto, which is in the nine-way vaccines at this stage of the game. Uh, their mom had had a um, reaction to that. So we're just a little weary. And you can see Dr. Cap here. He, is, he comes into our home, which we love. Um, it helps to prevent our puppies picking anything up in the vet office. Um, but he's doing their health checks now, checking for hernias, um, checking their joints, their bites, um, their eyes, their heart, all the things to make sure that they are leaving in great health. Um, that's always our goal with our puppies. So we want to do right by them. So we really love and appreciate Dr. Cap being willing to come to us. Um, and helping us to continue having our high standards mm -hmm. in the way we raise our puppies. <laughs> so Pretty he's just making sure everyone you looks good like and they... <laughs> yeah. I just like take little tiny clips of it and just montage things together for as updates. So as far as um, Dahlia, the puppy that we are considering keeping, she checked out great as far as the exam with our vet is concerned, but we are still waiting on the Embark test results um, to know her genetics and just to see like colors she carries and if there's any major red flags we need to be aware of. Um, we do try to be really careful about how we're pairing our parents, so I don't expect any surprises, but um it's hard to know for sure. So we just always like to make sure that whoever we keep back for a program um, is held to our standards. And so we are still waiting for that. Um, if it comes back, not quite what we're hoping for, either color-wise or whatever, um, then she will be up for adoption um, for a pet family, um, someone that would like her as just a companion. Um, so... That is a possibility that we would still have one available, but we won't know until these tests come back in another week or two. So if you're really hoping to get one of Mia's puppies, I know there's um, several people that missed the chance there. Um, that is something that um, you want to keep an eye out here for. Um, or on our Facebook page more so probably. 
um, at Greenview Puppies PA um, on Facebook. Um, we are a little unsure yet if we're going to breed Mia again. Um, she bounces back beautifully. She does a phenomenal job as a mom. She's just our pet first, so we always want to be careful. Um, if she is um, checked out well with our vet, then we will go ahead. And I expect that she'll be fine and cleared to do it again. Um, but we have decided to open up our wait list for her um, because we've had a lot of people reach out just saying, if you breed her again, we'd like to have one of her puppies. So we do have that wait list open. I am starting to take deposits. If that is something you are interested in, um, reach out to me or go to our website, greenviewpuppies.com. And if for some reason we would find out that she is not in they don't recommend us breeding her again, then we will either refund deposits or you can have um, move your deposit to one of our other cockapoo um, litters. So I just wanted to put that out there. There's a good chance we'll breed her one more time. Um, that will definitely be her last one. We always just try to go litter by litter and, um, you know, consider her health um, first. So um, if you are looking to get one of these sweet pups, next time around, um, make sure you apply for that. So, um, but we do have Roxy coming into heat at any time now. Um, and we do plan to breed her with diesel. So we're expecting, um, another litter of beautiful cockapoos here, probably December, um, ready to go home to their families in February, um, which is a great time because you're not busy yet. So it gives you plenty of time. Well, most people anyway, I don't know what your winter looks like, but winter to me with a puppy is the best because there's nothing else to do in the winter but sit around and snuggle puppies um but if you are looking to add one we also have a litter of um old english bernadoodles they'll be like medium-sized dogs probably 35 to 45 pounds um this would be with molly and a new sire that doesn't belong to us um bennett and he is gorgeous. He's a tri-colored Merle Bernadoodle. And then we have our Molly, who is a sheep doodle. So this would be like our uh, Molly's last litter, but a little bit smaller and with the potential of Merle's mixed in. So that's really exciting. We haven't confirmed them yet, but if she is pregnant, they will be due um, mid-November. So keep a lookout for that. That's um, fun and exciting possibility coming up. We thought we were going to take a break, but... I don't know how to say no to puppies and I love them <laughs> and I'm excited to have them. So we'll see. We only were able to do one tie with this, um, this pairing. And so it's, you know, 50, 50, if they're going to take or not, but I'm excited and hopeful. I do think we caught her at the right time. So we shall see. He's a new stud. So, you know, there's just a lot of newness there and, um, timing and everything is key. So we'll see.